All right, YouTube, D-Doc here again. Early this morning, you saw me roll the Harley out of the house in preparation to put it back in the garage. It's back in the garage. So I would have shot this video a little bit earlier, but after I uploaded this morning's video, I found out the Classic Truck Rescue had uploaded a recent video concerning an F600 Ford tow truck. And it's looking real sweet there, Rick. So, the mission now at hand is we're going to try the first cold kickstart for 2017 of my 1978 Harley Davidson Shovelhead Super Glide. She's fresh and cold, just got it in the garage. Still nice and dirty, dusty from sitting inside the house. Yeah, I might get her cleaned up before the first ride next week. Going to meet for the first time ever with all of my brothers and my sister, all of us that ride. We're going to ride down to the home where mom's at and show off the bikes. So, just put some gas into it. Let it sit for a little bit with the gas pet cock on to fill up that carburetor. Let's give it a try and do a first cold kickstart of my 78 Harley Davidson Shovelhead Super Glide for 2017 and see what happens first. If it happens to be nice to me and fire up, or if it's gonna wear out my leg and run me out of breath. Let's give it a try. It. How about you? Let's get a close up of that Harley Davidson sound. That was a little shot for 88 running rich. She's still purring good. Got a few things to do yet. Let's see if we can get a shot of this here. I know the lighting's a little bad, but... Check out that headlight. Whoop. I think there's something wrong with the alignment of that headlight. Can anybody guess what it is? Maybe I need to turn it that way. Do I need to fix that? Need a little bit, some new rear brake pads on it. And uh, do a little bit of checking with the charging system. Let's get you into the lights that you can see here. Check the charging system out. I, uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Turn that key off. I checked the old alternator stator for continuity and it's showing it's got continuity, no broken wires. 
Now that I've got it running, I'll have to set up the multimeter again. Unplug the alternator stator, hook up the multimeter to it, and see if at an idle if it's putting out the correct amount of wattage, amps, whatever it's supposed to do. I'll have to read the book again. And if it is putting out pretty close to the correct amount, that means there's nothing wrong with the stator. It's probably the regulator's bad. Now, I do have a replacement regulator that was uh, old, but I had broken one of the mounts. And uh, the only problem I think I'm having is I'm using aftermarket products, drag specialty products. And this time, I think uh, the regulator I've got on now is a drag specialty product, and it appears if it's the regulator that's bad, that it went bad after two years. I think if that's the case, then I'll go to Harley-Davidson and get an uh, official Harley-Davidson regulator. But other than that, you heard the bike. Seems to be running good. I'm pleased. Thanks for watching YouTube, and we'll catch you on the next one.